Hey everybody, it's Rob with Cherry City Woodworks. We're back today to do another video. Um, I watched the last video, I realized that it was really too far away and uh, couldn't really see much very well. So I'm gonna put a lot more effort in making sure that you're right where you can really see and uh, you can enjoy this. Anyway, today's project, we're making a pepper mill out of a piece of Hawaiian koa. Um, this is one of two pieces of koa that I have uh, making a salt mill pepper mill set for my wife for Christmas. Koa is an incredibly beautiful wood and it's really expensive and really hard to get your hands on. Um, so we're going to try not to screw it up. But this is going to turn out, I think, really, really cool. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Uh, I'm only going to do a video of the one because the other one is just going to be doing the same thing over again because I'm going to try to make a match. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the top. Uh, so I have the top ready. I'll show you a few of those things. I'm probably not going to talk a whole lot because that's another thing I figured out in the last video is between my dust mask, face shield, um, dust control going, all, our collection going, you really can't hear me very well. So if there's any pertinent information, I'll go ahead and throw it in in, in text. Um, and also, if, if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me in the comments. I'll answer any questions that I that I can if you're interested in if, how I did something or what tool I'm using or anything like that. But if I think of anything pertinent when I'm editing, I'll throw it in there in text. Anyway, I'm going to get the camera set back up. We're going to, it's a chop saw. I'm not going to show you cutting the top off this because who cares? It's just cutting the top off. I'm going to take off the top three inches. Um, actually, probably more like two and a half inches. Knock that off of there. And uh, then we'll start turning this round. First thing we'll do is turn around. And then once it's round, we'll put a, a tenon on each end for putting in the four jaw chuck. Then we'll drill it out, and then we'll actually start the shaping, then sanding, then finishing process. And then we'll do the same thing all over again on the head portion of it. So we'll do the body, then we'll do the head, and then I'll show you assembly, and we will have a completed pepper mill. We'll be right back.
batteries is enough to get through one of these, but these do take a while. Um, I finished knocking off the top and then I did the first sanding with 120 grit. We'll get this finished sanding up and then we'll get it put together. fit on that jam check. Alrighty, here's our kit. All the paper tells you is the depth to drill all your different size holes. Done this time too. Don't need it. So this is the part for your top. And this is the part for the actual grinder. That's how it does all the grinding. Top fits on here. So, this literally just gets a little bit of five minute epoxy get shoved into the head. This gets some five minute epoxy shoved into the base. This will be a little extra or a little too long. We'll cut that off, we'll file it smooth, and then we'll throw the whole thing together. Alrighty, so that was a long video. Hopefully, I was able to edit it down to a reasonable length. Let's get more light here. There you go, Not right in my face. But you know, it really turned out quite nice. Koa really is a great, great wood to work with. Um, the grain, it's got a lot of chatoyance. Um, if you don't know what chatoyance is, it's as you turn it in the light, the grain actually reflects the light. You can see a little almost like holographic hints as it, as it turns and that's what chatoyance is. It's, it's really beautiful wood. It's hard wood to get your hands on. And I was very happy I was able to get some in time to make my wife a nice set for Christmas. Um, now I just got to make its mate. And I'm not going to do another video of that because it's just going to look just like this. And uh, I want to keep the, the content as interesting and original as possible. Um, but I've got a lot of plans for a lot more different types of projects. So 
please come back and watch like and subscribe and share if you wouldn't mind it really will make a huge difference for me um i hope you enjoyed the video i hope my wife enjoys the peppermill i guess we'll have to wait till christmas to see thanks a lot everybody bye, -bye.